Hello everyone. Welcome to the Sahaj Yoga webinar on the occasion of the International Day of Yoga. My name is Ani Dave and I am from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I will be talking about the various benefits of Sahaj Yoga meditation. One of the main benefits is our ability to understand, understand our problems and find solutions. So let us begin by understanding about Sahaj Yoga. Sahaj Yoga was founded by Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. Sahaj Yoga is based on the ancient science of meditation, practiced by saints and sages since ancient times. Sahaj Yoga is practiced in over a hundred countries around the world. So wherever you are watching this webinar from, I am quite sure you would find a Sahaj Yoga center or a practitioner nearby. Learning and practicing Sahaj Yoga is absolutely free of charge. So you don't have to pay for it. There are Sahaj Yoga centers in almost every city and we also have online programs now to conduct remote and guided meditation sessions, which makes it all the more easier for you to join our meditation programs. So before we begin explaining, uh, uh, you know, in detail about how you can experience the state of meditation, we would like to talk about the, the subtle system, the energy centers, so our subtle system is made up of three naris. In Sanskrit, we call them naris. Basically, they are the channels, the three energy channels, which represent our emotions from the past, the present, and the future. We tend to go into our past when we remember our old memories and create an imbalance in our state of emotions. Or if we become too futuristic and start planning about the future, we go too much towards the right channel, which is the right side, and create an imbalance. What meditation does is it keeps us in the present. It gives us the ability to enjoy our present moment and be in a state of balance. We also have seven chakras, which uh, are placed on the central channel, which is the Sushumna Nadi, as we describe in Sanskrit. The left channel is called the Ida Nadi, and the right channel is called the Pingla Nadi. So on this central channel, which is the Sushumna Nadi, which you can see in the middle of this chart on the right hand side, you will see that there are different energy centers. At the base of our spinal cord, or at the very beginning of the central channel, at the very bottom, you can see a red colored chakra called the Muladhara chakra. This chakra is responsible for giving us a state of innocence and establishing within us the ability to see things in a wise and pure manner. The next chakra and right above Muladhara is the Kundalini energy, which we will talk about later in our session. And after Muladhara comes the Swadishtan chakra, which is responsible for creativity. Then comes the Nabi chakra, which is the third energy center responsible for peace and harmony. The fourth chakra is Anahat chakra or the heart chakra. This is responsible for love and compassion. The fifth energy center is responsible for our ability to communicate and remain collective. It is called the Vishuddhi Chakra. And then comes the sixth energy center, which is the Agya Chakra, which is placed in the forehead and is responsible for giving us the power to forgive others. And then comes the seventh energy chakra, the seventh energy center, which is the Sahasrara chakra, which is right at top of our head, 
at the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone when we were children. When the Kundalini is awakened, it passes through all the chakras and then finally breaks through the Sahasrara chakra, connecting us to the primordial energy that does all the living work. Now let us understand a little bit about the Kundalini energy and how the Kundalini energy helps us attain a state of balance and also a state of self-realization. So Kundalini energy has been described in all the holy books and in the scriptures. The Kundalini energy is placed, as you could see, right above the Muladhara chakra in the sacrum bone at the base of our spinal cord. The Kundalini energy is placed in three and a half coils, as you can see on the chart on, a, on the right hand side. And when the Kundalini energy is awakened, few threads of this three and a half coils, which is coils at the base of our spine, begin to rise against the force of gravity passed through the energy centers, which you can see here, and they pass through the various energy centers, finally piercing the Sahasrara Chakra, which is the crown chakra, placed on top of our head and connecting us to the all-pervading energy, which is connected, which is connected with every human being and every living object. So this three and a half coils gradually open and nourish all the energy centers giving us a state of balance, putting our thoughts in the present moment and also taking away the various negativities or problems associated with the chakras. Now, while the energy works on the subtle level and grants us a state of balance and inner harmony, there are other benefits of the Kundalini energy being awakened. One of the other benefits is your health. So if you are facing any health problems related to any of your organs, which are associated to the chakras or the points where the chakras are present, these health problems begin to vanish as the energy is established within the subtle system. When I say energy is established, means the flow of the energy is established within the subtle system. Gradually, once your chakras are fully nourished and are able to receive this energy through these plexuses or the chakras that are placed within the subtle system, the organs and the qualities of these chakras are fully awakened. So the organs with, with where the energy passes through, these organs get nourished, become healthy. And the qualities which we described earlier, which are associated to each of the energy center, these uh, qualities are awakened within us. For example, the qualities of innocence, the quality of creativity, the ability to be peaceful, to be satisfied in life, to be able to express our love and compassion for other people around us and for our own selves as well, and our ability to communicate and collaborate with people around us is awakened as the Kundalini energy passes through the chakras. Finally, granting us a great ability to forgive the others and to also forgive ourselves. Once we have achieved that state where we are able to forgive others and forgive ourselves, we are ready to integrate and ready to connect with the all pervading energy of God's love, which does all the living work in the world and in the universe. So this awakening of the Kundalini energy happens spontaneously in Sahaja Yoga. In the scriptures, in the, uh, you know, in the past when the saints and the sages, the rishis and the munis 
when they used to go to the mountains, to the Himalayas, they would live in the caves, suffer, put their head on the ground. And after years and years of penance and tapasya, they would experience the awakening of the Kundalini energy. The beautiful experience of awakening of the Kundalini energy has been made simple and spontaneous by Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi through the technique and method of Sahaja Yoga. So moving to the next section of our webinar, which is the topic of today's webinar. What is the source of all the problems? What is causing the problems in the world? So the main reason behind all the problems in the world is basically we keep wandering in search of real knowledge. We're not able to find the real knowledge. A lot of us, when we talk about yoga and we want to learn the art of meditation, we end up going to people and paying enormous amounts of money and also spending our time whereby we do not receive everlasting results in our inner well-being and inner state. Through Sahaja Yoga, we are able to find those solutions. So that is one problem that we struggle with, inability to find the real solution to our problems, inability to find the real answer to our questions. We are tangled within the material world and we are constantly looking for those answers, but we do not seem to find the answers. We are forever struggling with our emotions. We are forever struggling with our material problems, but we do not know how do we get that state of balance where we rise above the problems and we are able to see the solutions. Because of this state of fragmentation, our heart and our mind do not intertwine with each other or flow in harmony. So what is the solution? The solution is knowing yourself. The moment you know yourself, the moment you realize who you truly are, that is the moment you connect to the all-pervading energy which has created you. And that connection gives us the ability to rise above this world of chaos around us and see pathways to find solutions. We suddenly become very positive. We suddenly start expressing ourselves better. So we suddenly realize that some problems do not even exist. Whereas the ones that truly are our problems, we find solutions to them rather than worrying about this problem. So we go away from the past. We go away from, our mind goes away from the past. Our mind goes away from the future, comes into the present moment. And in that present moment, we start enjoying who we are. And we understand who we truly are. And then we discover the roots within that the all the answers to the questions in the outer world are lying within us. And these answers are the answers that we have been seeking for very, very long. We begin spreading happiness. We, we express joy in every interaction. And we are able to spread positivity around us. So let us now experience the awakening of our Kundalini. I am now going to play a video in which Her Holiness Sri Mataji herself demonstrates how the Kundalini awakening can happen within you. I would suggest that you sit back relaxed. If you're wearing shoes, I appreciate if you can remove your shoes. If you're wearing glasses, please take off your glasses. Sit back and relax and just follow the guidance and the instructions in the video to experience Kundalini awakening. Sahaja Yoga is a science. And in science, we experience the awakening and we have a real physical experience that validates what we are talking about. If you do not desire to take this experience, you may very well leave because it is very important that you should have the true desire to experience 
this awakening of energy within you. So first establish that desire within yourself and be relaxed and follow the instructions in the video that I'm just going to play. Keep your eyes closed. First of all, please put your right hand on your heart. All the time the left hand restores me. Now, here you have to say, in your heart, with all sincerity, Mother, am I the spirit? Ask the question three times in your heart. This is a very fundamental question. Now bring the right hand on to the left hand side of your stomach, in the upper part. Here press it. Now this is the center of your mastery, your guidance, your Guru Tattva as they say. So ask a question, Mother, am I my own master? This is a question to be asked three times. Mother, am I my own master? Now, bring your right hand down below in the lower part of the abdomen. Now, this is the center from which all the divine work is done. All the pure work is done. So to ask six times, because this center has got six petals. Mother, please give me pure knowledge. Six times you just ask. As a result of this asking, the Kundalini starts getting awake. Now to help the Kundalini Christ, you have to cooperate with her. So please put your right hand on the left hand side in the upper part of your abdomen and press it on your, the stomach. Now here you have to say with full confidence to help the Kundalini to rise. Mother, I am my own master. This you have to say ten times. These are the ten commandments which you have to say. That, Mother, I am my own master. times with full confidence. Now please raise your right hand to your heart. Now here you have to say, again with full confidence, Mother, I am the Spirit. This is the truth, you are the Spirit. But you have to say with full confidence, Mother, I am the Spirit. This you have to say twelve times.
Now one has to know that God Almighty is the ocean of love. But above all, He is the ocean of forgiveness. So He forgives. Whatever wrong you do, He forgives. So don't feel guilty and put your right hand across. On the left hand side, in the corner, which is made by your neck and your shoulder. Now here you have to say, again with full confidence, 16 times, Mother, I am not guilty. Please say it. Mother, I am not guilty. 16 times. I am not guilty at all. Please say it. Please say it. Now raise your hand across on your forehead. And it's a very important center. Here you have to say from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. Please say it from your heart. How many times is not the point? Mother, I forgive everyone. Now some say that it's very difficult to forgive. But it's a myth that we do not forgive or we forgive. We do not do anything in both the cases. But if we don't forgive, then we play into wrong hands. So please say from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. Now please take your hand on the back agya, the same center, on the back side of your head and allow your head to rest on it and push it back a little bit. Now here, you have to say, for your satisfaction, because you always feel guilty, that, O oh Divine, if I have done anything wrong, please forgive. Please forgive from your heart. Stretch your hand fully and put your center of your palm on top of the fontanelle bone area, which was a very uh, soft bone in your childhood. Press it hard. Press hard your uh, scalp. Now, you have to move it seven times, saying one thing which you have to ask for. Mother, please give us my self-realization, because I cannot force on it. So you have to ask for it. Seven times, press it hard and move it seven times, very hard. Slowly, saying that. We can keep our eyes closed for a little while and experience the 
full vibrations coming out from our hands and from the top of our head. Please put your hands like this, a little lower. Now. First we'll start feeling some cool or hot breeze on your fingertips and also on your thumb. Then, in the palm, you start feeling a cool or a hot breeze. Some people start thinking that this air conditioning, or it has nothing to do with air conditioning. So please have faith in yourself. Now, please put right hand towards me and put down, put your, put down your head a little and feel with your left hand on top of your fontanelle bone area, which was called as talu. If there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out, now please put down your heads a little and see for yourself. Move your hand. It might be coming very far, maybe very close, but don't put your hand on top, but above. Just move, please, move it on the sides and see for yourself that it's a cool or a hot breeze like coming. It is hot, means you have not forgiven. It means only that you have to really say, I forgive. You have to, don't you have to do anything except you have to say in your heart, I forgive everyone. That's a very great quality. Hmm. Now please put your left hand towards me. And see with your right hand. Again, bend your head, please. And see for yourself if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your Just see for yourself. Now, please put your right hand again. Right hand is more. So put the right hand like this and see for yourself. Now again, put both the hands towards you. And don't think, just, just don't think. You can stop thinking, even for a second. It's very good. This is called as Nirvijarita. Then comes the stage, you become Nirvikalpa. When there is no doubt in your head, you become into doubtless awareness. When you're sure you got it, you're sure you can do everything. That is the stage one has to rise. I'd like to thank you very much for joining our session today. And it is our privilege and an honor to be able to share this joy of Sahaja Yoga with you. Sahaj Yoga has been practiced for over, almost 50 years now. And we, we hope that you, you would find this entire session very, very helpful. 
And if you wish to contact us, you can always contact us on sahajyoga.org.in. And our team, our volunteers are spread around the world and they will be very, very happy to help you. Again, wishing you a very happy International Yoga Day. May you find what you are seeking. Thank you.